Let me guess, you clicked on this video because you created a model-driven app. And inside that model-driven app, when you open the active items view, all of a sudden you realize there's a search box on the top, but the only thing that it searches, it searches for begins with on your primary column, which sucks, let's accept it. But in this video, I want to show you how you can enable the search on every column that you decide on any table that you have inside your app. At the same time, I want to show you how you can enable the wildcard search. Basically, it searches the entire column, not just begins with. Before we get into it, this video is actually a sample chapter from my course on Udemy called Model Driven Apps Crash Course. If you want to take this course, there is a link in the description with the discount coupon that takes you straight to Udemy and you can get the course at a very discounted rate. Let's get into it. And if you enjoyed the video, well, liking and sharing will go a long way, not only on my side, but also on all the friends and colleagues that may find this video helpful. Let's talk about search in MDA, or in better word, global search in MDA and why it is not working. So there are quite a few reasons, but before we get there, let's see why we need that global search. The global search can search all the Dataverse table inside the app in one shot. So you just go to the top of the app, regardless of where you are, you just search and poof, it searches the entire app, every single table and all the records and bring it up. Keep that in mind, it's a can. It doesn't mean it always does, depending on how you configure the search. That's why this lecture is all about how you configure it and you put it together. The process is important. If you want to take notes, that's great. Otherwise, if you're too lazy, the next slide is something that you want to take a screenshot of it. The process starts by configuring the environment. Then we need to enable the search for the tables. Then we need to go inside the tables and see which columns we want to add to our search. Don't say, yeah, we add all the columns. Don't, because there are limitations there and we are getting there. And right after that, you need to add the tables to your app. And finally, the most important part, publish all and wait. This is the time that things do not happen immediately. So give it some time, bring all your patience, and don't look at the number of the minutes that there are in this lecture, because to see the results, it's going to take you a bit longer than you expect. So let's start with configuring the environment. First of all, the Dataverse search needs to be enabled in your environment. And to do that, you have to be the system administrator of your environment. So before doing anything, let's see if it is enabled in our environment. Now, this is the app that we created in previous lectures. This is our relationship app. And as you can see, I don't see any search box on the top. You see this tiny search thingy, but it's a different thing. It takes you somewhere out of this app. We don't care about this one. We need something that searches inside this app. And for that, we need to have a search box here that can directly search here. It is not there, and this is the first indicator that the Dataverse search is not enabled in this environment. And if you don't have an app, just to check if it is available in your environment, the easiest way is go back to the list of solutions. And if you click on this overview of any solution that you have available, regardless of using Dataverse or not, if you click on this overview, on the right-hand side, it will tell you that Dataverse is enabled or not. So it says, if you want to use it, enable for improved search result. It doesn't mean that we don't have search at all. We just don't have global search. And let me show you the basic search that we have inside our model-driven app that is here. You see this tiny search? It's not actually search. It's a filter. So let's say I go to the demo products. I want to search, for example, Apple Watch series. As soon as I put the button here, it says apply begins with filter. That's it. It doesn't search for contains. Although I know I have Apple Watch Series 7, if I come back here and I say watch and press enter, nothing happens. But if I put, for example, Apple here, probably it will find it. And this has nothing to do with your global search. First step is that we need to configure our environment to do that. 
whatever the environment that you work there, in my case, it's my demo environment, you have to be the system admin. And once you have that permission, you go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Regardless of your permission, you can go there. And if you click on the environments, you will see only the environments that you are the system admin there. This is my own training tendency, so I am the system admin in everything. The environment that we want to work with is called my demo environment. So I go to the environments and I click on my demo environment. If search is not available for you and you want to enable it and you don't have access to this, you need to talk to your service desk and ask them to enable this for you. So I click on my demo environment. Under this environment, I go to the setting and I go to the product and features. This is important. I know most of you are watching this on the monitor and you watch this one in one browser and then switch between the video screen on Udemy and the Power Apps. Be a little bit careful. Now, let me change this and I will tell you what I mean. I click on Dataverse Search and I enable it. The problem is that when you switch between the screen, after a certain time, which is not that long, it automatically refreshes this screen. So you leave this screen, watch Udemy, come back here, and you go to save. Most probably when you come back, this screen is refreshed. This is quite annoying. I wish Microsoft fixes that, but at the moment, this is what it is. So before you click on save, make sure it is enabled, scroll down and click on save. And after it is saved, go again back to the top of the screen, make sure it is enabled. Now, let me go back to my app and see if it is actually enabled. I go home, nothing happens, but let me refresh my screen. And voila, we have this search box here. And if I go back to my solution and refresh this screen now in my overview, you will see something is happening here, which we will get there. So we configured the search environment. Now we need to enable search on tables. Most probably you have done it before because that's a default setting. So if I go back to my solution, which shows me all the elements in this solution, for the tables that I have, you can click on every one of these tables, click on edit, and again, click on edit table properties, expand and scroll down and you will look for appear in search results. Just make sure this is checked. Click on save. If it is already checked, just leave it the way it is. I go back and I pick the other table and then I click on product category demo, scroll down, edit, and again, edit table properties, expand, scroll down, and just make sure it can appear in the search result. At this stage, if I click on save, both the tables that I'm using in my app can appear in the search result, assuming that they are already both added to my app. But that's not the end of the story. We enabled the search on tables. Now we need to define which columns we want to be searched. And that's where things become interesting. If I click on back, I can go back to any one of these tables, for example, product demo. If I scroll down, for example, product name, if I click on edit column, I can scroll down and you see this column is searchable. By default, always your primary column is searchable. Next one, yes, I want to search product description, click on edit column, and it is not searchable. If it is not, just enable it so you can search the content of the product description. Keep that in mind. This search is not just begins with. It searches for every single content inside that search. And it's also language sensitive. So for the product, I want to also pick the product category. I can say edit column. Yes, make it searchable. And I click on save. Feel free to scroll there. I don't want to search for the unit price. It doesn't make any sense. Product category demo, sure, why not? Title, I know it is searchable. Even if I click on edit column, I can verify that it is searchable. And for the description, sure, why not? And it is already searchable, great. But that why not has an answer. And now it is time to see it. If I go back here, 
under overview of the solution, you will see that it says columns index for the search. We just enabled them. And if I click on manage search index, you see that columns index for this environment at the moment, you will see that yes, product demo is there, product category demo is there. It still takes a while to update all those indexed columns here, but you will see columns index in this environment is 219. You have a maximum number of the columns that can be indexed. It is 1000, but 50 of them has been already used by system, so you cannot change them. So you are left with 950 for the entire environment. So keep that limit in mind. Don't overuse it for unnecessary stuff. So we are good. My tables are added. They are searchable. The columns that I want to search, they are already added. Beautiful. So we are done with the columns to search. Now I need to add tables to your app. We have already done that. The app that we have here already has these two tables. They are already added. So product categories and the products, they're all here. This step is already taken care of. So now we need to publish everything and wait. Let me go back to publish, back. I can say publish all customizations. It says publish is complete, but I always question this publishes honesty. So I go back to my client app, refresh the screen and see if it really works. So let me search for, hold on a second, they are already there. So I have the pro demo products, I have product categories, and I can come here and start searching. For example, watch. And you see, it finds the test wearable watch, Apple Watch Series 7, and we have it only under products. How about wearable? You will see I have one fitness wearables and I have one demo products. Not only that, what if I press enter? It gives you a customized search results screen. It tells you that, hey, under demo products, I have something that its product name is wearable. Under product categories, I have something else. But hold on a second. I have quite a few products that the category is wearable. Why didn't it look that up? Why it only shows me the product name, not the category and all the other stuff? The answer is here. Under tables, for example, under demo product, if you remember, we have views. We have something called quick lookup view that we looked into that before. We have something called quick find view. Quick find view is the view that we need to play with. At the moment, as you can see, it has only product name and the created on. Created on, we don't really care. So let me just remove this. I want to add category. So whatever that you see here will appear here in the search result. For example, watch. Before it is published, you have the product name and the created on, but now I want to have product category. I want to have description. Beautiful, that's it, that's just good enough. Not only that, now you say find, at the moment we have only find by product name here. So I can say add another field. So when you're digging inside this table, search for category, apply, I can say also search for description, apply. Find by is the only thing that is unique in this view. Other than that, you can specify filter, you can specify search, and here you can see filter is by status, so it only shows you the active product, which is exactly what we need. If you want to exclude some products in general in the global search, you can always do that by just applying the filter in the quick find view, and that's it. Save and publish. Back. I never trust that save and publish. So I always click on publish all customizations. Bingo. Publish all customizations succeeded. And now I can go to my app, go home, and I refresh. I come back here. And this time I search for wearable. Enter. And now. Oopsie. We don't see the results yet. But why? 
we are technically done with publish all and wait. And if you are a little bit frustrated that you have made all the changes, you have followed all the steps and everything is good and still you don't see the result, this is straight from Microsoft website. Changes made to the Dataverse search configuration or the searchable data may take up to 15 minutes to appear in the search service. It may take up to an hour or more to complete a full sync for average size organization. So, so I wait off camera for 15 minutes and then we will come and check it together. All right, so I just refresh the app again and I come back here and I search for wearable and I press enter. Bingo, we got it. So as you can see, everything is updated. The result that we were expecting, it's searching for all the products that part of the product category has wearables it even works for the product description. So for example, if I search for GPS and I press enter, it will find all the products that they have GPS in the description. And this was an end-to-end -end configuration of the global search service in model-driven apps. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you will enjoy the Udemy course even more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon on Udemy.